In this series I'll be covering artificial intelligence in Unreal Engine using C++. I'm assuming you know C++ and the basics of the Unreal Editor. I'll be covering Behaviour Tree's Blackboard's custom Behaviour Tree tasks and services and AI controllers among other things. This series is based upon the AI series by Ryan Laley which is a great series and I'm indebted to him for teaching me a lot of things but he used blueprints so I couldn't resist the challenge to convert to C++ which took a lot of research and hunting around in Google since there are some differences. For those interested I have included a link to his series below. I have started by creating a third person project called CPP AI with starter content. In this video I'm going to set things up for the rest of the series. First I'm going to prettify this arena since it looks a bit bland and boring. So I'm going to use some of the materials in the starter content. And for the walls I'm just going to put uh, this poured concrete on. You don't have to do this of course, it's just me wanting something better to look at. Um, copper I think for the floor. Perhaps <clears throat> and chrome on this raised area. And a bit of bling on this cube. Oh yes, yeah, so an extra pair of stairs as well around the back here. So I'll click this. I think if we could go alt drag gives you another one um, so we just uh, position this rotate it a 90 Get it in place. Actually, it might be better to look at the top. Zoom in a bit. That's fairly work good, actually. I'll do. Next thing to do is going to make some changes to this third-person character, the player character. Save that. Um, first thing is if you play the game, especially if you've got a gamepad, but even on mouse and keyboard and that, it's very easy to do this sort of thing. So I'm going to limit the camera pitch. I'm also going to change the mesh color. So we go to the uh, to Visual Studio and um, yeah, I don't think it's got a begin play, has it? we need uh, put that in begin play so go to that call the super So the first thing we want to do is to limit the camera. Um, oh, we need some includes, don't we? Before we go anywhere, it gives you all sorts of errors without. So uh, these includes, which I've got some snippets. Need the uh, need world. Uh, we need skeletal component skeletal mesh component <coughs> should say um, and we need uh, the material instance material instance dynamic dot h is hash include um, 
game framework, isn't it? Player controller dot I believe. <coughs> down here got a snippet for the code all we do is we get the uh, play camera manager and you just get the world and there's uh, a function on that to get the first player control and from that you can get the camera manager and we just set the minimum uh, what's that the minimum view pitch to minus 50 and the view pitch max to 10 which I found works quite well <coughs> uh, next thing to do is to change the color um, <coughs> to get a material instance which you create from the mesh uh, in fact, from the material of the mesh um, and if that was successful you set its color now <clears throat> this is RGB isn't it so make the red null that's green I think I'll make it a green one to make the blue zero and leave the alpha and one and then we just uh, set that material back onto the mesh so <clears throat> can't see any errors so it's time for a little build done All right so now when we play it it's green and I should be limited yes on how much I can do the uh, pitch of the camera oh well, the other thing I'd like to have on this would be an exit button on the gamepad bit inconvenient having to press escape on a keyboard so I can add an action map into project settings engine input uh, action mappings expand that so add one just call it exit game and I'll map it to the left face button on the gamepad button there we are gamepad face button left got to do the code for that need to add a ah oh, this is annoying why do they have these mul stupid multiple sections when they generate the code for you I'm gonna move that into the proper place Up. Not like that. Bung a private section in. And we need a function for that exit game. Functionality. And for that there's a got a snippet. Right, code will exit the game. Uh, what's this Visual Studio acting up? Of course we have to do the you have to map it so um, bind action so uh, it was called exit game I should have called it on exit game 
could of course just rename it it should automatically change everything Did, did it do it? Sometimes it doesn't do it everywhere, but it did it there as well. Good. Save everything off. Um, right, next thing, I'll test that later. All we've got to do is to make an NPC, non player character. So we go to here you know C and create a new class character is the parent class we want and uh, we'll just call it NPC I will edit the code this time you won't see it in here yet to do a build uh, for some reason that gives you an, uh, a begin play so <clears throat> We need those uh, headers, don't we? Because we're going to change the color to a red. So, just copy these. Red, so make the others zero. is there what to do on this um, oh yeah yeah I've got to do a build then I've got to create a blueprint from it then add the skeletal mesh and the animation blueprint right so that was successful oh yeah it doesn't automatically update the folder you have to come out go back in and there it is we need to make a folder put all our um, <clears throat> AI stuff in a folder I'm just going to call it AI and then we can do this so AI <clears throat> so MPC underscore BP and it opens it up for us and there's nothing in it no skeletal mesh or anything this uh, blue arrow, of course, in case you don't know, just tells you which way is the forward direction for this character. So um, we need to click on mesh in the hierarchy and the list of components. If you don't click on the right thing, you won't see what you want to see. And we want this mesh, skeletal mesh. And there's just this <clears throat> standard third person mannequin which we're going to use. It needs a bit of arrangement so go to the left zoom in and drag it down so it's not up in the air I do um, go to the top I think and we need to rotate it because it's not pointing in the right direction so uh, oops, stick 90 on it so that now should be correct save that now I need to do the animation blueprint it's got no, no anim class so if I now set this to third person anim BP it will display the idle animation save and compile if I drag one in and play it should just have a red NPC. If I can't do that, yeah, there we are. So, uh, let's see if this exit button works, which it does. So, that's it for this video. In the next one, I'm actually going to add some functionality to that uh, NPC. Bye for now.